I have three sets of wires coming through a light switch and it has gone bad. I have a set of wires coming from the breaker box, this is my hot, I have a set going up to the light and finally a set of wires going away to the other part of the house. My question is I need to know what kind of switch that I need to replace this old switch with. The old switch is a Slater Electrical Incorporated. Ketno. SC070. This is a strange switch in that the wires are all spliced into the switch on top of each other. P. S. I can upload a picture of the old switch if that will help in any way. Hello. My name is I will be happy to assist you with your electrical question. My goal is to exceed your expectations on just answer. 1. How many switch locations control the light? 1 wall location only? Is the existing switch a single pole type? 2. Any chance that you can post a picture of the old switch here? 3. I believe I located your switch. Is the switch installed in a mobile home? Slater rocker type of switches are typically installed in mobile homes and they contain six wire connections. Thank you for responding to my question. 1. There are two switches side by side. One works the outside flood light and this one works the inside light in the laundry room. As far being a single pole type, I am unsure because of the weird type of switch. 2. I am posting a picture for you to see. 3. Yes, this is a switch from a mobile home. And it has three sets of wires coming through the switch. Each wire has a ground, hot, black, and a base, white. Thanks again for your response and your assistance. I apologize for so many pictures, but this is the same switch and the computer will not let me remove the excess pictures. Also, just to help clarify what my wiring diagram coming and going from the switch looks like. I have made a crude picture for you to look at. Thank you for the information and pictures George. 1. Yes, the switch is called a Slater switch and these are commonly installed in mobile and manufactured homes. 2. Pass and Seymour took over Slater Electric and are now the manufacturers of this switch. Refer to the links shown below to purchase a replacement. HTTP colon slash mobile home parts store dot com slash merchant to slash merchant dot MVC. Screen equals prod and product underscore code equals 230120 and category underscore code equals sr http colon slash mobile homey under parts dot com slash results dot asp. Category equals 2 and secondary equals 15 http colon slash www.magicmobilehomesupply.com slash snap underscore on underscore self underscore contained underscore designer underscore switch underscore white underscore p slash 484.htm hope this helps. If you have any additional questions, let me know and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Otherwise, don't forget to rate me before you log off. The next time you have an electrical question, you can also request for me at http colon slash www.justanswer.com slash home improvement slash expert your electrician. Thanks. Kevin. One final question, if I wanted to replace this switch with a regular switch, what type would this necessarily be? Would it be a standard single pole switch or what type switch would it be? The reason I ask is that I tried to replace the former switch with a standard single pole switch and it kept blowing the breaker. I apologize for being such a pest. 1. If the old Slater switch only controlled a light from one wall location, then it is a single pole. If the Slater controlled the lights from two wall locations, then it is a three-way. 2. 
If replacing the Slater with a standard single pole switch, you will need a digital voltmeter that also has a built-in continuity tester. The Slater switch is actually a combination switch and splicing point. If the wires are not properly spliced together using a standard single pole switch, the breaker can easily trip. A minimum of three of the wires inside the Slater need to be confirmed as to their purpose. E. The hot circuit feed into the switch, the switch loop wire extending from the switch to the light, as well as any other downstream circuit feed for another wall switch or wall receptacle. 3. You also need to confirm that you have sufficient wire length inside the box to make the appropriate wire nut splices if replacing with a standard switch since you will need to pigtail a few wires. Minimal free space length on the conductor should be 6 inches. You may also require a deeper wall box in order to contain the wire nut splices as well as the free length conductors. Hello again George, thank you for the excellent service rating as well as the bonus. Much appreciated. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Take care and have a great day. Thanks again. Kevin If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.